So in the last video, I told you about our decision to order an Embassy Duo. And left us hanging. Yeah, well, gotta get you interested somehow, don't I? Okay, so how did the first conversation go? We called Terry, who was apparently very hard to get a hold of. Just lucky, I guess. And he walked us through some of our major questions. Things like the size of each area of the RV, what kind of van it was built on, what colors we could choose from, the warranty. And it's pretty darn fine, I tell you what. He was very accommodating and answered all our questions. So we were able to make a firm decision that the Traveler Duo was the right model for us. The next step was for Embassy to send us paperwork with options for the Ford Transit and options to consider for the Traveler Duo. After a few days, we got the forms in an email and looked over it. Of course, we had a few questions. And by few, I mean a lot. 27 questions, to be precise. Say what? Yeah, that's an issue I have with the process. You're looking at a list of different items and have to make decisions about what you want, but you don't necessarily understand what the items are or what options you have to choose from. Let me give you an example. Colors. There are colors for a main color, an accent color, doors, flooring, slip covers, countertops. It's a long list. But there's no list of colors or samples, so I had to send an email to see what choices there were, or maybe to ask for samples. Well, there you go. Then there were the Ford Transit options. It asks about a backup alarm, heavy-duty floor mats, vinyl sun visors, things like that. I had no idea what some of these things were, or even if I needed them. So more questions to send. Of course, once I asked those questions, my wife found a Ford Accessories website that explained most of those questions. It would have been a good idea to add that website to the form. <clears throat> that way, we could look up all those items ourselves and not bother Embassy with that. All that said, the process is pretty smooth so far. It's hard to get a hold of Terry. He is very busy with bills and contracts. He's been a running all over Hell's Half Acre. But Wanda is very good at responding to emails and questions. Hopefully. She isn't too mad at me with all the questions. Please don't get a burr in your saddle. He's not that bright and needs all the help he can get. Let's face it, if that boy had an idea, he would die loneliness. Really? That's all you have to say? You don't watch out, I'm gonna cream your corn. <laughs> Keep it up and I'll cancel your birth certificate. Alrighty then, hope this video gives you some insight as to the beginnings of the embassy ordering process. Once I get some answers to our questions, I'll let you know. Be seeing y'all.